Hey guys, Ryan here. I'm an ambassador for the El Paso Society for Musicians of the Future. In today's world, many people overgeneralize the term classical music. People think that they know classical music when they hear it, often associating it with string instruments, such as the violin or the cello. However, the term classical music only refers to one out of the six great eras of musical history. In fact, box music isn't even considered classical. My fellow EPSMF ambassadors and I are here to help explain the six eras of musical history. Luckily, all of them are equipped with the handy Time Traveler 3000, which will aid them in their journey through time. Now, without further ado, let's join Isaiah in the medieval period. Well, it's like I'm here in the 12th century. Even though music existed long before this time, the medieval period is the first era in which historians are sure as to how music sounded. Most medieval music came from the ever-growing influence of the Catholic Church, and as a result, most medieval music is religious. Instruments included the recorder, the flute, and some plucked stringed instruments. Monophonic music defined this period, a single unaccompanied melody line that was usually sung by monks. The Gregorian chant was one of such. In addition to monophonic music, the use of polyphonic music, using two or more voices, began to emerge at this time. Let's head over to the next era. paintings look just amazing? I guess it's pretty obvious that we're in the Renaissance era. Aside from all the paintings and amazing architecture of this time period, music also developed its own unique characteristics. It was during this era when increased amounts of harmony were added into music. Chords also became more flexible, which allowed music to adapt to the composer's style more easily. Similar to the medieval era, religious music was most prominent. But new styles did emerge, such as masses, psalms, and most importantly, chorales. Instrumentation also became more prominent with the advent of the harpsichord, the trumpet, the guitar, and percussion instruments. Next up, let's travel with Ryan to the Baroque era. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. My Time Traveler 3000 seems to have turned into a violin. How weird. The Baroque era is mostly known for its movement toward complex secular music with intricate harmonies. The idea of the orchestra as we all know it today was born, along with operas, sonatas, and concertos. Music for the voice was now overtaken by music for instrumental ensembles. These groups often played for outdoor dinner parties and other social gatherings. As a result of this, there was a greater use of instruments, and individual instruments advanced greatly. New instruments emerged, such as the oboe, the bassoon, and the cello. In fact, the Baroque era saw the introduction of the harpsichord, the earliest predecessor to the modern-day piano. Another great musical invention was the composition of music in a certain key, which, like the piano, is prominent when composers make music today. Without further ado, Follow Isaiah into the Great Classical Era.
this is just king Dracula. That was my lunch for the era. Anyways, guys, welcome to the classical era. While the general definition of classical refers to all of the time periods, the more specific definition only applies to this time period. Orchestras continued to flourish during this era as it got bigger and bigger and more instruments were being added to them. The sonata and the concerto, introduced in the previous era, were greatly advanced during this time. Now, while the classical era did not see any major new additions of instruments, the harpsichord was officially replaced with the forte piano, which allowed the instrument to be played in a variety of dynamics, not just soft or loud. However, what really set this era apart was its extensive use of harmonies. Well, John's time traveler 3000 is only as hideous as mine. Welcome to the Romantic Era. This time period in music came with the immense use of emotion and drama. Music undoubtedly became more complex. In fact, it was during this time that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Just like the world was illuminated with this invention, music in the Romantic era shone bright with intensity and expression. Instrumentation grew along with the size of orchestras. Now more than ever, concerts and performances moved away from only being accessible to royalty to being available to the lower and middle classes. The institution of the music school also came into action. As you can see, music began to take over the globe. Its influence began to grow at an unprecedented rate. Numerous musical prodigies such as Tchaikovsky, Chopin, and Mendelssohn began the world debut during the Romantic era. Just by looking at its name, one can guess what this era is all about. Expression and emotion. Take it away, Ryan, with our final stop in time. Nice. Finally, a normal and familiar device. We made it to the final era, guys, the music of the 20th century. Although this period of time can be broken down into several smaller periods, I will be discussing them as a whole because of their many diverse styles. Each era leading up to the 20th century had strict guidelines that composers had to follow. But as time flew by, composers began to diverge from the rules, which ultimately led to the free design of music. In today's world, classical music is truly up to experimentation, and although as not as famous as it was in previous eras, it has certainly not disappeared. During the 20th century, music was made available to almost the entirety of the world's population. Inventions such as the radio, the television, and the cell phone brought music to the masses. In fact, it was in this era that the musical was created. Today, music continues to evolve at a great rate, with new ideas in all of its aspects, such as tempo, form, and culture. This only begs the question, how will music sound in the distant future? While we do not know the answer to this, it is important that we understand the great history of music so far, as this leads to a better appreciation of all music as a whole. Well, now that we're done with all this, I can finally relax. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoyed our adventure through time as much as we did. Just like the Time Traveler 3000, music is always constantly changing and evolving as society continues to change over time. I encourage you all to listen to a piece of music from each of these six eras and see for yourself the distinct musical beauty that each of them has to offer. In the words of Aaron Copeland, to stop the flow of music would be like the stopping of time itself. Incredible and inconceivable. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. On behalf of the EPSMF, please stay safe and stay healthy. Farewell.